I wasn't really familiar with the property, the comic book property, and then on set, it just felt like we were making something completely so outrageous. I mean, we're friends, so we've maintained uh, a relationship which, which helps than going back on camera and, and, and pretending to be close. You don't really have to fake. Like, if you appreciate someone as a person, you don't have to, there's no acting involved then. Um, we just are ourselves, pretty much. It's so much better once you're friends because I can pr I can read him physically so well now. I know like he has these little ticks, and I can tell like when he starts doing them if he's getting agitated and where he's going to take the scene, or if he's getting you know if he's insecure or if he's confident or if he's about to just get crazy and be completely outrageous. I can watch his body language and read him and go with him with it now in the scene, which is uh, which is fun and it's a relief and um, it's just a good time. Okay, well, I mean, Sam and Michaela, they're high school kids. You leave off, they've just basically been involved in saving the planet. Um, you catch them two years later, they've been in a relationship. You've missed, like, a lot of their first moments, I guess. I'm not sure, it's not really explained. But you cut two years into their relationship. Um, Sam has to go away to college, or he wants to go away to college. He's seeking, like, a sense of normalcy. And uh, Michaela is, you know, from the wrong side of the tracks, and she doesn't have the money to go to school, so she has to stay back and work at a bike shop while uh, Sam goes to, uh, to college, and they try to maintain this sort of long-distance relationship, and it's not really working out because Sam is going through something mentally and emotionally. Michaela goes to him, try to help him figure out what's happening, and they get caught up, much like the first one, randomly in this really crazy like roller coaster event uh, involving robots. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of peril and life or death situations. And it's the same, it's the same, it's the same thing multiplied by a hundred. Uh, to help, completely. I mean, that opened a door that gave me a name in whatever sense you wanna, you wanna take that. Um, and it opened a million doors for me. It's exhausting physically, emotionally, mentally. It's a tough movie to make. I prefer to do as many stunts as possible, as they, as insurance will allow me to do, which is funny because I end up doing, you know, like 40% of my own stunts on this film, and then I'll go, like, I just completed another film where I did almost all of them, and people are constantly shocked by the beatings that I can take. And I'm so, it's because this movie has prepared me. Like once you make this movie, you can kind of, you can kind of make any movie in a physical sense. Physically, you're, you're prepared to go through anything.